Hey everybody, my name is Mark Friedman. Welcome to the Tulip Experience Center. I'm going to show you a demo of the Way and Dispense Station, which is an application we're releasing as a part of the Composable Life Sciences MES within uh, the library. So right here you see that we have a couple batches available for the operator to choose from. I'm going to select one of these and begin the Way and Dispense operation. I'm actually connected directly to this hood here, so I'm pulling in temperature and current, which is indicating that my fume hood is running. This is part of the machine monitoring feature set within Tulip. As I go ahead and begin this, you'll see I have a number of checks that I have to do before I can proceed to the next station. This is totally configurable in the drag and drop editor within Tulip. Here we have just a few checks that we need to make sure are done. So I'm going to check those off and move forward. All this data is stored with the batch in the, in the history record of the batch. So here I have to scan the scale. I could be using a number of different pieces of equipment. In this case, I'm going to scan the scale I'm using because equipment can be managed the same way that we are managing any other process. You can see I can only move because it's in a clean status, but if I scanned another piece of equipment that was maybe in use or required maintenance, it wouldn't let me proceed. So here I have my list of materials that I have to weigh out for this batch. The magnesium stearate is the one I'm going to do first, and I have to scan that lot. And this is a valid lot of magnesium stearate, so I'm going to go ahead and use this by pressing next. Now I'm going to select the container that I'm going to use, which is this one, next, and I have to zero the scale so I can begin weighing this. So Tulip is reading values directly from the scale and won't let me proceed until I zero the scale. And now that it's zeroed, it's actually guiding the operator through this workflow. And this is really important that we zero this because this could cause all kinds of issues. So only now can I move forward. Now I have to weigh the container. And I'm going to record this weight to the batch record. And this will carry along with it as I go ahead and put all the material together in the batch. So I have to press the tear button before I move forward. So I'll push this button. And Tulip's going to recognize that that has been teared and move me to the next step. So now I can begin weighing. What I'll do is pour these into the container, and as I get closer to the target, it's actually going to zoom in and help me get closer to an acceptable range. So at this point, I can press Next, and I can verify I've completed this by signing off, and I will use my badge, but we can integrate with your SAML or other modes of identification, and then I'll print this label. This label will go with the material, and I can begin weighing my other components. Now, to simulate this, I'm just going to go ahead and push this button. And at the end, I can review the batch I just created, as well as all the materials and how much I put in each one. If there are any exceptions, you can see them here, and we'd be able to review those as well. So in this demo, what we've shown you is the ability to connect to devices. Many devices connect with Tulip, and they can be used to guide operators through workflows and actually make it more compliant, the process. So this whole thing is configurable, and this is an example of a, a simplified version of a way and dispense process. It's available in our library. Thank you.